Welcome family and friends. Thank you for joining me at Maria Loves to Talk. And yes, Maria has a lot to talk about today. A lot on my mind. And no, no speculation. New York City dad called 911 after allegedly mowing down a strange wife. And then he, he writes, or he told him, I think I deleted my wife. Really, dude? I saw that showing him running or mowing them over with his car. Was run over by a car. Police say the suspect then gr stabbed his estranged wife, all while their three kids were right there. Fox 5's Jessica Formoso spoke with some of the neighbors who know the family, and she joins us live from Flushing, Queens. Jessica? Good evening, Natasha. Just tragedy all around you. Real, really feel for those three children who had to witness the evilness of their father. Now, we are learning more about uh, the victim. She lives across the street in that apartment building with her three children. Neighbors telling us tonight that the husband did not live with them, that they never even saw him in the area. We also know that she recently launched a podcast where she spoke about the domestic abuse that she suffered with her estranged husband. The tire marks etched on the sidewalk near the corner of Parsons Boulevard and Franklin Avenue remain on the scene more than 24 hours after a mother of three was mowed down by her estranged husband. This is uh, an evil thing. Uh, especially to his wife and the mother of the children. Police say 36-year-old Stephen Geraldo intentionally struck his wife with his vehicle, 41-year-old Sophia Geraldo, and then stabbed her, all while their three children, ages 6, 9, and 11, were in the car. Her kids didn't deserve to see that, and they don't deserve that. Surveillance video captured the disturbing and brutal moment. You can see the SUV parked on Parsons Boulevard across the street from Sophia's apartment. A few seconds later, you see Sophia walking over. As she gets closer, her husband steps on the gas and runs her over. We had to freeze the video because it is too graphic to show. Oh, oh my God. He crazy. The husband, who was arrested at the scene, was arraigned this morning and charged with attempted murder, assault, and endangering the welfare of a child. According to the criminal complaint, the suspect allegedly told his children, quote, keep your seatbelt on as he floored the SUV, barreling the car directly into their mother. After ramming into her, the car flipped on its side. He then allegedly crawled out of the passenger side window and stabbed her with a knife. Sophia was rushed to the hospital in critical condition. Stephanie Reith is Sophia's neighbor. There is a special place for people like that, and it is heartbreaking to know that he did that to her because she is a very, very nice woman. Stephen worked as an MTA bus driver. He was suspended without pay pending the outcome of this investigation. Sophia describes herself as a survivor of betrayal, trauma, and abuse in her podcast, which was recently launched back in October. Well, being in a toxic relationship, I saw a lot of research on narcissism and abuse. Now, the children were unharmed in all this. Stephen is being held without bail. He is due back in court on January 12th. If convicted, he could face up to 25 years in prison. As for Sophia, well, she is clinging to life tonight. We're live in Flushing. I'm Jessica. The couple's three children were in the car during the ordeal with the eldest 11-year-old Stephen sitting in the front seat. Can you imagine this child seeing your daddy? Uh, driving a van or whatever, running, just chasing your mom down like she's a, a, a dog or a, I, I don't know, squirrel, coyote or something. Moments before Gerardo allegedly struck his wife, he told the kids, everyone keep your seatbelts on. Wow. He said, everyone keep your seatbelts on. Geraldo, a Queens resident who works as a bus driver, had parked across the street from, the, her, from her flushing home and called their mom, 41-year-old Sophia Geraldo, and told her to come down. When she approached the car, he sped up and hit her so hard she flew over the fence. The deranged dad climbed over his son crawled out the passenger window, 
walked to where Sophia was lying and stabbed her twice beneath the right breast. Sophia, a life coach and domestic abuse survivor, remains in critical condition. Prosecutor says she suffered severely, has broken bones in her leg and stab wound punctured her liver. She may be severely incapacitated if she pulls through. Neurology. They said, a, 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 okay, they said domestic abuse survivor. So she was trying to get away from him. What was he doing with the three kids? What was he doing with the three kids in the car? Friends and family are taking care of the kids who are ages 11, 9, and 6. They were not hurt. Authorities have charged Gerardo with attempted murder, assault weapons, possession, reckless endangerment, and endangering the welfare of a child. If convicted, he faces 25 years in prison. No, that's what the problem is with these judicial systems. And like I said before, like the same thing with the cops, the reason they're not protecting women and kids, because a lot of them, these judges, these lawyers, these DAs, these cops, these commanders, these sergeants, they are toxic masculinity. Just like y'all see with that lawyer down in South Carolina that uh, deleted his own wife and his own son. They are more of a criminal than that criminal pimp that's out on the street corner, than that little thug running around uh, robbing people. These people who we look up to, yes, we do, because I was one of them. I was one of them. Look up to them like they are God, like they are your priest, like they are your revered um, cardinal or bishop. Not anymore, boo-boo. A group of MTA workers who showed up at the scene Tuesday described Stephen as a good guy who was going through a terrible divorce. Really? I guess that might be some woman beaters too. He's a good guy. He just going through a divorce. Stephen's brother, Jonathan Geraldo, echoed this when he told the Post that his sibling was a good man and the podcast wasn't accurate. Did y'all hear me? His brother said his, that he's a good man and that the, the wife's podcast is not accurate. They were working through some issues, Jonathan said. He was trying to work things out with her. My brother is nothing like that. He's gentle, sweet guy. A gentle, sweet guy has his three sons in the car, in the van, in the SUV, he calls the wife to come out the house, and when she come out the house, he runs over her. She's flying over the van. He gets out the van, enough to have, have deleted his kids, because the van, as y'all saw, turned upside down sideways, and he starts all up on her breast. That's personal, just like when I shared with y'all that other uh, story I had did, uh, and also with the BCK. Brian Christopher Kohlberg, I think they said uh, the girl Kaylee, the young lady, had uh, more wounds than the other people. Uh, and also when I did the story on the uh, Clear Lake kids, the Clear Lake uh, students, where one of the girls, two of them, the police or the investigators said he noticed that they had, one of them had more attack in the private area. That, that is really personal. He got out and started going, stabbing her in her breastbone. So here they say Stephen Gerardo will remain suspended without paying until the investigation. His next court day is January the 12th. I'm going to have to see what happened. Uh, so when we see how these family members take up for their highness, demonic um, family mem member creature from the Black Lagoon, so he's a uh, gentle, sweet guy. You, your children, their boys, I know they look up to daddy. So they're seeing daddy um, abuse mom, beat mom up, run over mom, try to delete mom. I don't see anything sweet or kind about that.
and I don't want to really go there with because I know there's a lot of people on this on this uh, um, I don't know what you would call it on the um, swirl nation or jungle fever nation or um, interracial uh, and and on both sides and uh, when I see this yeah I go there and my thing would he would be like Dr. Phil says, how is that working for you? How is that working for you? Yeah, I went there. Because that idea that some people I see on YouTube is that, oh, the grass is green on this side. So the black dude, you go over there, you get your white girl, you get your Hispanic girl, you get your Asian girl, chick, woman, lady, queen, Asian queen, uh, Jewish queen, um, Latino queen. It's gonna be so much better than with the black queen or a Jewish guy, you go get you an Asian queen. Life is gonna be so much better than with your Jewish queen or whatever, vice versa. I, I'm seeing people with all that and I'm like, if you're gonna do that, just go ahead. But I don't see why you gotta put down, uh, you know, I'm seeing, um, I guess the passport bros and, and like somebody was saying, that's kind of, I mean, I think they just added a new name, a twist to it, but that's been going on. If you look at these old uh, Phil Donahue showing the white guys going to the Philippines or whatnot to get the mail order brides. Uh, I saw one where they were showing uh, here in Texas, white guys going to Mexico to get wives or girlfriends. That's been going on. 20 years plus uh but i don't see why someone needs to put down one group of women or american women that we're feminists we're masculine we this we we everything but the child of god just go and do what you got to do we we don't need to know about it and you do not need to be putting anybody down and the same thing with the women if you do not want to date men that look like your dad anymore and you want to get you a Latin man or a Jewish man or an Asian man or whatever, vice versa, just do it. We we don't need to hear you or I'm just keeping... And yes, I guess y'all gonna call me a little mammy. I don't need to hear you putting down uh, uh, men that look like your daddy or uncle or brother. I don't need to hear that. I don't think we need to hear that because at the end of the day, all them jokers are the same, really. It depends on if you get the right one. There's no such thing as this one joker is better than this joker. You know, I'm just, or this joker is better than the grass. You know, it, uh, and I'm, I'm not saying that this lady, I didn't see, I haven't looked at her information to see if she was like the young lady that was, past year before last the um forgot what that lady name was in new jersey uh found that went on the date with the white guy the black chick that went on a date with the black the white guy and was found dead in the bed bleeding from the nose and they still i hadn't heard any more update but yeah she had put on her page or someone had showed that she said that she wasn't dating black men anymore. And the same thing with the other guy, the black Nigerian guy that was uh, deleted by his blonde girlfriend, the OnlyFans model, Chris Obonsoni. All those little comments, he kind of did them little comments like that chef way attacking black women. And it showed, now we see where the blonde chick was confluent and whipping up and beating on his butt, just whipping that butt. 